We all know that investing our money is the key to building wealth in any economy. But what you might not believe is that it's possible to become rich by investing very little to no money. You're wrong, and here's why. As the great Warren Buffett once said, someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. That is the power of investing. You can start investing with any amount, whether it's $10, $100, $1,000 or more, and build wealth beyond your imagination. The biggest mistake that poor people make is telling themselves that they need to earn a certain amount before it's worth it to start investing. They think they need to earn a high income before they start investing. Do you see the problem with this logic? The main question that investors have had for hundreds of years is a very simple one. How should I invest? In this video, let's answer that question through the perspective of our favorite investing legend, Warren Buffett. Assuming that all you have is $800, your goal is to inject it into a high-power investment vehicle that can multiply your money exponentially over time. So how do you make this happen? In this video, I'll show you the three most effective ways to multiply $800. All of the methods I'm about to share have historically provided incredible returns without too much risk, not only for professional investors, but also for regular folk like you and me. Each of them is considered reliable and long-term, and according to Warren Buffett, these are the kinds of investments you should be looking for if you want to build lasting wealth. First, let's start by making an important consideration. Is your $800 a one-time investment, or do you intend to invest $800 every single month? You see, these two scenarios require different investment approaches, and I'll discuss both of them. First, let's analyze the case where you only have $800 to your name, maybe it's your life savings, and you want to invest it in the smartest way possible to grow this to $2,000 or more. In this scenario, investing in stocks is not the best way to grow your money. Just think about it. $800 is not a lot of money to throw at a random company or a group of companies in the stock market. Even if you get lucky and invest in a risky company that grows 100% over the course of a year, congrats, you've made $80 in a year. Now, don't get me wrong. A 100% annual return on investment is amazing. It's pretty rare to find deals like this in the stock market. But there is a really big problem with this. It's not repeatable. At least not easily, and certainly not for the average investor. Your future wealth simply can't depend on you getting lucky with a one-off investment. Plus, there's a much higher chance of losing your money if stock prices crash. Now you might be thinking, what if I leave my money in the bank? After all, it's less risky, right? Even though bank saving accounts are one of the safest ways to guarantee that you will not lose even a single cent, this also means that they offer the lowest reward. Right now, as of the time of making this video, the average savings account in America is yielding an interest rate of 0.57% per year. That means putting $800 in the bank today, one year from now, you will have made an extra $4.56. That's right, less than $5. Now, I'm not sure which part of the world you're watching from, but $4.56 is barely enough to buy a loaf of bread and a carton of milk in the US. So you can see that investing $800 in this way is not worth it. Truthfully speaking, you'll never build wealth by saving in a bank. Even CDs are not a good investment vehicle for you. You see, a CD is another low-risk type of bank savings that many people would recommend to you. CD stands for Certificate of Deposit. The way it works is that you put your money in a bank account and the money is locked, so you can't withdraw for a certain period of time. For example, a 4-year CD would keep your money locked for 4 years, and you're not allowed to access the money until after 4 years. If you insist on withdrawing before the set date, you'll be charged a fee called an early withdrawal penalty. So what makes CD accounts better than savings accounts? Well, CDs give better annual returns, but still, the amount of money you'll earn is pretty pathetic with an $800 investment. You see, the average return of a CD in America right now is about 1.72% per year. So this means after 4 years, your $800 would yield a total of $1,055. Let's just agree that this isn't exactly an exciting amount of money, especially considering that you had to wait a long time for it. So let's go back to stock investing. Let's say that you got a good stock with an average 7% return for 10 years. 
If you invest $800 once in this stock, your investment would have grown to $1,574 after 10 years. Now, that's impressive compared to the other two, but at the end of the day, you're still making less than $80 a year. That kind of money won't even cover your Netflix subscription for more than a year in the US. So how much do you really think it will change your life? Hopefully these examples have opened your eyes and you can see why these investment methods are pretty dumb if you're starting with a small one-time investment of $800. Even if you doubled or tripled this amount to $2,400, the numbers are still underwhelming. So let's come back to the question that we are analyzing. How can you invest a small amount of money like $800 in the most effective way possible? The answer is simple. Don't invest. At least not in the way you're thinking about investing. What you should do with the $800 is invest in a more active way of earning income. Only when you start earning a decent amount of money from your active income stream can you channel that extra cash into passive investments like bonds and stocks. I agree that passive income is the best, but it's useless if you're bringing in less than $10 every month. But how exactly do you do all this? And what exactly do I mean by active income? This brings us to our first method of multiplying your $800. Number 1. Self-Investment and Deployment now, I know investing in yourself may sound mundane or unprofitable, but it's actually the number one investment that you can make. Even Warren Buffett takes self-improvement seriously, which is why he said, the most important investment you can make is in yourself. By far the best investment you can make is in yourself. For example, communication skills. I tell those students that come that uh, they're going to graduate schools and business and they, they're learning all these complicated formulas and all that. If they just learn to communicate better, in, both in writing and in person, they increase their value at least 50%. If you can't communicate, somebody says, you know, it's like winking at a girl in the dark. Nothing happens, you know, basically. And and you have to be able to get get forth your ideas. And uh, and that's that's relatively easy. I did it myself. It, it's just hugely important. And you, if you invest in yourself, Nobody can take it away from you. Invest in your education and your mind. Read books on wealth creation or learn a new skill that you can use to actively generate income. Investing in yourself works because by doing so, you increase your own value. As you should know, making money is all about value. The more value you give to the world, the more the world will reward you with money. So you can use that $800 to buy books or courses, or pay for seminars and mentorships to learn a high income skill. Just find a way to grow your mind and knowledge. With $800, you can learn money making skills like graphic designing, programming, content writing, web development, search engine optimization, and so on. Now, the second thing to do after absorbing knowledge and increasing your value is to give value. In other words, deploy that value or that skill you've gained to create an income stream. This is one of Warren Buffett's strategies. As he said, never depend on a single income. Make an investment to create a second source. Thankfully, with the internet, you can now easily deploy your skill online without spending too much money or even for free. You could decide to start a blog to share your knowledge or even a YouTube channel. Or you could be a freelancer, offering your services on freelancing sites like Fiverr or Upwork. While it's certainly possible to make a full-time income from any of these businesses, not all business models are created equal. Some are just fundamentally more profitable than others for various reasons. For example, it's extremely unlikely that a restaurant business will ever be the largest or most profitable business in any major city in the US. The profit margins are just too low. I recently discovered a business model that is perfect for beginners and offers extremely high profit margins. And no, it's not drop shipping or e-commerce. In fact, over 99% of the population has never even heard of this unique opportunity. If this sounds interesting to you, check the link in the description to learn more. Remember that you will invest quite a lot of time in your income stream in the beginning. You may even need to invest some money too, but this is crucial to its success. Eventually, the business will grow until it becomes so profitable that you can hire more people to help you and even quit your job to focus on growing the business online. So you see, it's all up to you. In most cases, pretty darn wonderful businesses. And like I say, we'll have more as we go along. So it's a, it's a very simple formula. Gypsy Rose Lee said, once she said, I have everything I had five years ago. It's all that it's two inches lower, you know. Well, what we want to have five years from now, a whole bunch of businesses we had before that are two inches higher, 
plus some more businesses, and it, it, that's the formula. Now that you know what to do for a single 800 investment, let's talk about what to do if you have a recurring 800 investment. Let's say that you have a good job or side hustle that brings you good profits. So every month you can add more money to your initial $800. Of course, it must not necessarily be $800. You could start off your investment with $800 and then add $100 monthly. This additional recurring investment makes your money multiply greatly. As I said in the beginning, passive income is the best. The sweetest feeling in the world is when your money is working for you and multiplying by the day, even when you're sleeping. So what's the best way to achieve a purely passive income starting with $800? Number two, invest in stocks and index funds. The quickest way to multiply your $800 passively is via the stock market. You can invest in the stocks of your favorite companies. For instance, you can invest in the stocks of Coca-Cola, Heinz, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and so on. By buying a stock, you become an owner of a tiny part of the company. To invest in stocks, just visit a brokerage, select a stock you want to buy, and then pay for it. When these companies make money, so do you. But here's the thing. While investing in a single company gives you a chance to earn a lot of money, it also puts you at the risk of losing everything if the stocks depreciate or if the company goes bankrupt. Let's say you put your $800 in Amazon, and then a few days later, Jeff Bezos announces a new policy that customers and company investors do not like, causing them to leave Amazon and patronize others. This will make the company's stock prices crash, and investors like you could end up losing everything. This is why financial experts like Warren Buffett would advise you to take the time to study companies and do a lot of research, so you don't pick a company that ends up sending all your hard-earned money down the drain. One of Buffett's ultimate rules is, never invest in a business you cannot understand. But honestly, all that research can be very tedious work. Plus, there's no guarantee you'll make the right choice anyway, as businesses can be very unpredictable. So this begs the question, what is the safest and most profitable way to invest in stocks? Well, that's where index funds come in. With index funds, you don't need a perfect company to invest in. You just invest in a group of companies at once. For instance, you could buy an index fund of the top 100 stocks in the US and put your $800 into it. Some index funds pay dividends, while others do not. So you'll have to confirm this feature just in case you wish to be paid tax-free dividend returns. Dividends in this case refer to a company's profits that are shared with the shareholders. So how do you invest in index funds? Well, it is pretty much the same process as investing in regular stocks. But here's the thing, don't blindly put money into any index fund simply because it's safer than investing in a single stock. If your goal is to make a lot of money from the stock market, then always look for the best performing index funds and invest in them. I'll share a few examples of index funds with you, but remember, it's up to you to research and select your best option fund. So let's say you want to invest in lucrative tech companies like Microsoft, Apple, and Tesla. Two good examples of index funds that you can get are the VGT and the QQQ. These index funds allow you to invest in several tech companies like these all at once. But note that these two funds don't have the same list of companies, so you should read up on them and find out which has the tech companies that you prefer. Next, for the S&P 500, we have the Vanguard VOO or the SPY index funds. Investing in any of these means putting your money in the top 500 performing company stocks in the United States, as listed in the S&P 500 index. If these companies grow, your stocks and your returns will also grow. Note that the list of companies in the S&P 500 change from time to time, as stocks that don't do well are replaced with new ones. This could affect your profits. The last group of index funds I'll talk about are the dividend ETFs. These funds pay you annual returns from company profits. Two good examples are SDY and VYM. These funds invest in several companies that pay dividends, so they too pay out dividends to you as an investor. Now that you know how to invest, my advice is that you create an automated system so that anytime money enters your account, part of it is automatically diverted to your index fund. For instance, you can set up a system that automatically deducts $200 to your stockbroker account every month when you receive your salary or income. This automation will help ensure consistency and also make the entire thing completely passive. However, do you really want to make it big in the stock market? How did billionaires like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger do it? 
The answer is long-term investment. It's a simple trick Warren Buffett has used to make millions in profits from the stock market. Like Warren Buffett would say, if you aren't willing to earn a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. It would it would bore most people, and, and certainly boredom is a is a, is a problem with most professional money managers. If they if they if they try to sit out an inning or two, not only do they get somewhat antsy, but their clients are start yelling they start yelling swing you bum you know from the from the stands, and that's very tough for people to do. But what if you're not a fan of stocks or wish to invest your eight hundred dollars passively some other way? Well, this leads us to our final way of investing your eight hundred dollars. Number three real estate. Now, I'm sure you've heard about real estate investment, and you're probably wondering, how can $800 afford a house? Well, thanks to technology, you don't really need to own actual property to make money from real estate. You can simply invest in a REIT. REIT is an acronym for Real Estate Investment Trusts. Real estate investment trusts are companies that invest in real estate. It's more like an indirect method of real estate investment because you're not actually owning any portion of the real estate, but rather you're owning a portion of the company that invests in real estate. One major advantage of REITs is that they give out huge dividends. Usually they give 90% of their profits to the shareholders, you. To invest in REITs, check out options like VNQ and USRT. Another method you can use to invest in real estate is crowdfunding. Crowdfunding allows you to invest money, no matter how small, into a platform that owns a portfolio of real estate investments. As the investments bring returns, so too will you gain profits. Most of these crowdfunding platforms also pay off dividends to investors, but their dividends aren't as much as what you'll get from REITs. However, crowdfunding is more like owning a tiny portion of real estate, unlike an RIT investment, where you own a tiny portion of the company that owns the real estate. So what if you still don't fancy any real estate investments? What can you do with $800? Well, clear your debt. Let's say you have a loan that accumulates 4% interest yearly. If you pay off that loan one year earlier, you just earned yourself a 4% gain on your money because that 4% you would have given to your bank is now yours. This is one smart way to clear your debt and still make small returns. Plus, there's the added advantage of becoming financially free so you can focus on other passive income investments, like the ones I've mentioned in this video. Now watch this video to learn about how you can use the upcoming recession to make a lot of money.